So in the last class, we started about the second unit. In the second unit, we already discussed about the electric dipole. Electric dipole means two equal and opposite charges separated by a small distance is called electric dipole. Here two charges or static charges, these charges can produce the dipole moment and produce the electric potential can produce the electrostatic field also torque. In the previous class we discussed about the dipole moment. So dipole moment is the product of charge and distance between the charges. Electric dipole is a vector quantity, the direction of the electric dipole along the radial direction. We also discussed about the electric potential due to the electric dipole. So in the last class, we derive the expression for the electric potential due to the electric dipole. Here, the potential V equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon QD cos theta by R square. This is the electric potential or potential due to electric dipole. Unit is volt. Unit is volt. So here QD is the dipole moment. QD is the dipole moment. It can be written as potential V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon P cos theta by R square volt, unit is volt. So here, this can be written as electric poten potential due to the electric dipole V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon. P cos theta can be written as P R dot a r bar by r square. So it can be written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon p r dot a r can be written as p r dot r dot r bar by r cube where a r bar, a r bar is the unit hectare that is equal to r bar by r, r bar by r. Therefore, the potential due to electric dipole V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon P r dot a r bar, r bar, r bar by r q. So here, p r is the dipole moment along the radial direction and r bar is the distance between the two charges. Now, we have to discuss about the Potential electric field 
due to the electric dipole. So electric dipole produce the electric field intensity. So every static charge can produce the electric field. So electric field due to the dipole. So in spherical coordinate system, the electric potential is not a function of pi. Electric field is directly proportional to the dipole moment and inversely proportional to the cube of the distance. So here, here we consider the spherical coordinate system, spherical coordinate system. So in the spherical coordinate system, the potential along the phi direction at every point the potential is constant. So the potential is not a function of the phi. So in the spherical coordinate system R, theta, phi are the coordinates. R, theta, phi are the coordinates. So R is the radius, theta is the angle with the z axis and pi is the angle with the x axis. Those angles are also called tangential angles. So here the potential is not a function of pi. So electric field is directly proportional to the dipole moment, directly proportional to the dipole moment. And the next one, electric field is proportional to the cube of the distance. Now we have to discuss about the electric field due to the dipole. So here, yeah. <coughs> So, the potential due to the electric dipole is given by V is equal to Q D cos theta by 4 pi epsilon R square. This is the expression for the potential due to the electric dipole. Now, we already define the potential gradient. We already define the relationship between the electric field intensity and the electric potential. So the relationship between the electric field intensity and the electric potential is given by E bar equal to minus del V minus del V. This is the relationship between the electric field intensity and the electric potential. So in the spherical coordinate system, in the spherical coordinate system, del e equal to, what is the del in the spherical coordinate system? Del e equal to dou by dou r a r bar plus 1 by r dou by dou pi of a pi bar plus 1 by r sin theta dou by dou pi of here dou theta dou pi of a pi bar here a theta So here, the field cannot exist along the phi direction, along the phi direction. So, now we substitute the QD cos theta 4 pi epsilon r square in this one. The electric field intensity E bar equal to, E bar equal to minus dou 
many do are of? A do V by do R. A R bar plus minus minus 1 by minus 1 by R do V by do theta A theta bar minus 1 by R sin theta do V by do phi A phi bar. This is the electric field index. Now, substituting the values of electric potential V is equal to QD cos theta by 4 pi epsilon r square. The electric field intensity E bar equal to minus dou by dou r of Vd Qd cos theta by 4 pi r square unit vector is A r bar plus minus dou by dou theta of dou by dou theta of qd cos theta by 4 pi r square a theta so the component along the phi direction is zero the electric field intensity component along the phi direction is zero because the potential at every point along the phi direction is equal. So the differential potential equal to zero. So on the spherical surface at every point with respect to the phi the electric potential is constant. That is called equipotential surface. So potential there is no potential difference along the phi direction because of that reason the electric field component along phi direction is zero so the in the spherical coordinate system phi is not a function of electric field so electric field along the phi direction is zero now the electric field intensity E bar equal to so here 1 by 1 by 4 pi epsilon is constant 4 pi epsilon is here 4 pi epsilon is constant so here this is equal to QD is also constant so minus QD by 4 pi epsilon. This is constant value. The remaining is do by do r of 1 by r square a r bar plus Do by do theta of cos theta cos theta by r square a theta bar. So here, the electric field intensity E bar equal to QD minus QD by 4 pi epsilon 
डू बाई डू आर ऑफ वन बाई आर स्क्वायर डू बाई डू आर ऑफ वन बाई आर स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस टू बाई आर क्यू ए आर बार माइनस प्लस डू बाई डू थीटा कास्टेटाइज है दो बाई दो थीटा ऑफ कास्ट थीटा इक्वल माइनस साइन थीटा सो ये माइनस साइन थीटा बाई आर स्क्वायर ये ये थीटा बार So, e bar is equal to minus q d by 4 pi epsilon. Cos theta is constant. Do by do r of 1 by r square is minus 2 by r q by r bar plus. So, q d cos theta by r square here. So, cos theta minus sin theta is. So electric field intensity E bar equal to Q D by four pi epsilon two cos theta A R bar plus sin theta A theta bar. By R Q. So this is equal to here Q D. What do you mean by Q D? Q D is the electric dipole moment. So E bar equal to. P by four by epsilon R Q two cos theta A R bar plus sin theta A theta bar. तो ये तो ये द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ई बार इक्वल टू पी पी मींस डाइपोल मोमेंट R is the radius of sphere. Radius of sphere. Theta is the angle between y-axis. Z axis and and point. So here, in the case of electric potential, V is equal to P cos theta. By four pi r square volts. So in this case, the electric field intensity is directly proportional to the dipole moment. In electric potential also, 
is directly proportional to the dipole moment, but the electric potential is inversely proportional to the square of the distance and electric field intensity E1 is inversely proportional to the cube of the distance. So that is the main difference between the electric potential and the electric field intensity. In the electric potential, the distance is inversely proportional and in the electric field, the distance, the electric field is direct inversely proportional to the cube of the distance. So here also <coughs> theta cos theta and sin theta are the angles. So this is also directly proportional to the those angles AR and AR bar and A theta bar are the unit vectors along the uh, along the theta direction and the radial direction. Now, we have to discuss about the torque. So, in general, torque is the turning effect. Torque is the turning effect of the object. Turning effect means here, we are discussing about the torque acting on dipole in the electrostatic field. Torque on an electric dipole in the Electro electrostatic field. The torque is defined as the cross product of the dipole moment and the ele electric field intensity. So here yeah, torque is a vector quantity. Torque is a vector quantity. So the direction of the uh, torque is along the applied force. So torque is the uh, is defined as the also defined as the product of the force and uh, distance from the line of action of the force. So the cross product we already defined the cross product. Look at, look at about the video here. We already defined the force and the electric field a number of times. So electric field. This is static electric field. Electric field. E is equal to F by the force acting per unit charge is called electric field or F is equal to E Q or Q is equal to or E is equal to F by Q. So look at here, look here. So here two charges, positive and negative charges are separated by a distance small d. Separated by a distance small d. Here this is the action of the force, understand? Force can be uh, force can be applied at the, the negative charge or at the positive charge means whenever electric dipole placed in the external electric field external electric field dipole can be turned with respect to the uh, respect to its uh, reference point its the reference point here <coughs> the here L is D is the distance between the two dipoles and E is the electrostatic field and Q is the charge plus Q or minus Q and QD. So here QD is the product of charge and distance that is the dipole moment that is expressed by the symbol P bar. P bar is a electric dipole moment and E is the electric field. And if, okay, so this uh, can be a sign that of eliminating sign that will get the cross for tau bar. Tau bar is equal to P bar cross E bar or P E sin theta A n bar. So A n bar gives the direction of the torque. So I would like to continue in the next class.